Thank you, Darren. A Springfield restaurant is making the most of a bad situation. Cafe Moxo has been closed for more than two months after a fire destroyed neighboring businesses. Oil business is not booming for Moxo. Its owner is making sure the employees are still getting paid. Fox Illinois Spencer Davis has more. Mark Fornash and the Cafe Moxo staff have been working in the community while their cafe remains closed. These individuals are the reason why our business was open up into the fire. It's the reason why we've been open since early 07, is surrounding ourselves with the best and brightest in our industry. Today, I met with them at the Central Illinois Food Bank as they helped bag potatoes. So just knowing what we're doing and the impact that we make, not only by helping Central Illinois Food Bank, but helping people that Central Illinois Food Bank helps, I mean, that's, that's priceless. This isn't the first charity or nonprofit the Cafe Moxo crew has helped. Over the summer, the crew helped cook meals for underprivileged families at Compass for Kids. To have them help us with a task that, you know, it's a big task on our end, but to have them do that when their organization is going through such a difficult time is just, you know, so special. The fact that they're going to be cooking dinner for our families, we're just so glad to be a part of this, this way to help keep them going. A way that Fornash says is to give back to the community. We can't thank the community enough for their support, their thoughts, their well wishes. There's been some financial support, some fundraisers that people have jumped on board and really helped. And that is what's helping us keep these people employed. Uh, it's what allowing us to go around town and try to make it a better town and a better community. So thank you, Springfield and surrounding communities. That was Spencer Davis reporting. Fornash says that he hopes that Cafe Moxo will reopen late this year, but must wait for the new wall to be built. Demolition will commence when said wall is done. The permits needed to begin construction on the wall and Cafe Moxo is pending approval. And this comes after city officials say demolition of the building could still be weeks away. But they say plans are moving in the right direction. The building's owner, Chris Nichols, says he hopes the plans will be carried out in time for Halloween. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.